Hi, church family. It's Pastor Matt again over at the Hollister campus. I'm glad that you're joining me for another devotional. And I'm starting a series called Called. And I'm looking at characters from Scripture that were called by God to do great things. And when I think of that subject, my first thought is Abram or Abraham. And we're going to just jump right into it. If you have your Bibles open, I'll be starting in Genesis 11 and then picking up a little bit into Genesis 12. And let's look and see what Abram was called to do. So we start with his father. And it says at verse 31 in chapter 11 of Genesis, Terah took Abram his son and Lot the son of Haran. Now Haran was Abram's brother. And of course, Terah's grandson, which it says right here, his grandson. And Sarai, his daughter-in-law, his son Abram's wife, and they went forth together from Ur of the Chaldeans to go into the land of Canaan. But when they came to Haran, they settled there. The days of Terah's life were 205 years, and Terah died in Haran. And I'm going to pick up at verse 12, verse 1. Now the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. And I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you and make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and him who dishonors you I will curse. And in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Then verse 4, the very beginning, says, So Abram went as the Lord told him. Fascinating passage. So they start with the Ur of the Chaldeans. I'm going to pop up a map here in a second, and you get a chance to see where Ur is and then where Haran is. And then, of course, they stayed in Haran. There are some reasons why they stayed in Haran. Um, first of all, uh, it's great because Abram at this point is honoring his father. His father was the one that was called originally to Canaan, but uh, he didn't fulfill his, his calling. He found a place in Haran that he could stay for a while. Haran at that time was a, a major metropolitan city, uh, which is basically in southeastern modern day Turkey. And uh, it was the crossroads between the east and the west. Similar to the way Israel, and at this time the land of Canaan, is the crossroads between the north and the south. And what they did was they followed the Euphrates River all the way up, and they took a little tributary and headed north. And if you look at it, it's like, man, it's not even close to Canaan. What was Haran thinking? Well, he was thinking he could go and probably make a little bit of money. And, uh, you know, they were shepherds and he could uh, raise flocks and have a, a large family while he was there with his family. It's so fascinating because people in that day didn't do that. Yeah, they were nomadic. If there's no food, they would move. But if there's no reason to move, if there's plenty of food and water, they would stay where they were for a long time. And here we get the first example throughout antiquity of somebody picking up and leaving for no good reason other than the reason was God. And then Abram and Haran went with uh, Terah to Haran. Now those are two different names. I'm pronouncing them the same, but in Hebrew they would be just slightly different. They have different meanings as well. The son Haran is different than the city Haran. And uh, when they got there, they stayed until uh, Terah died. And then when Terah died, Abram made the choice that he was going to leave his father's land, leave the land that his father took him to, leave the land that he stayed in and honored his father for 50 years, and then go and fulfill the promise that uh, God had given him. And God now is blessing him in return. He's saying, thank you for going because this land is going to be yours and you're going to be a blessing and people are going to bless you. And if people don't bless you, they're going to be cursed. Haran was called to Canaan, but he got distracted along the way. And it was all part of a sovereign God's plan, I suppose, because it was ultimately Abram who was going to fulfill the promise of going from Ur of the Chaldeans. Travel now they they wouldn't want to travel directly east even or west if they had traveled directly west which would get them eventually to the Canaan land, this land flowing with milk and honey, but 
they couldn't go that way because the Syrian desert is right there. They would surely die. So they followed the river, the Euphrates River, all the way up. And then one of its tributaries up to this place called Haran. And then when it was his time for uh, Abram to travel to the land of Canaan, he did so. And he had animals and he had family with him at the time. The call was very clear. One man accepted and didn't fulfill it. One man, it wasn't his call, but he fulfilled because it was his father's responsibility. Uh, sometimes when we receive a call, it's big and we get scared. I would really challenge you. There might be somebody listening here. There might be somebody in your friend group that needs to hear this. If you're sensing a call to do something amazing for God and he's calling you someplace, you should try to go. I have dear friends that uh, have spent quite a bit of time as missionaries in the part of the world where Ur of the Chaldeans was. Modern day Iraq. Eventually what became in antiquity, Babylonian land where many Muslims live today. And I have dear friends that minister to them because they received the call and they went. Um, I don't think everybody's called to go across the world, but if you are, seek it out. Reach out to me and I can help you find the right resources if that's where you might be called. But sometimes the hardest place for us to go, and we are all called to go there, is to our neighborhood to the people that God has given us influence over. So I hope that if you are sensing a call overseas, amen. Talk to me, talk to Pastor Sam in our missions department about that. Or recognize the call in your neighborhood. Because in that way, we are all called. And we pray. Thank you, God, for uh, the calling of Abram. And truly, Lord, he was a blessing, and he became the blessing for generation after generation, even to this generation, Lord. Thank you, God, for loving us, for hearing our prayers. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.